Welcome to the Creative Hugsa. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to create a diamond text effect in Affinity Photo. The steps in this tutorial will show you how to create a realistic diamond look that resembles real jewelry. First, go to File New. Go to Web and select FHD 1080p. Then, set the DPI to 72. The actual document size doesn't matter. Next, grab the Flood Fill tool from the Tools panel. Make sure you have the swatches panel or the color panel active. Then press Shift and X to switch the stroke color to the fill color. The fill color should now be black. Take the flood fill tool and click on the document. A new pixel layer will be created and it will be filled with black. After that, grab the artistic text tool from the tools panel. Click on the document and type the word you want to use in all caps. I'm using the word diamond. Set the color of the text to white. Select the text, then go to the font family to change the font. The font I'm using is called Westmeath. You can find a download link to this font in the description of this video. Also, you can choose to use a different font too. Place the text in the center of the document. Make sure snapping is turned on first. It's now time to prep the diamonds. Go to File Open and select the diamond texture file you downloaded. With the diamond layer selected, go to the Select menu. Then, go to Select Sampled Color. We want to remove the black areas between the diamonds. By default, this sample is black, but if you needed to sample another color, you would use your cursor and sample the color from the image. Set the tolerance to 18%. The tolerance determines how many colors of the same value will be added to the selection. By lowering the tolerance, fewer pixels of the same value are added. If you increase the tolerance, more pixels of the same value are added to the selection, and the pixel color starts to vary from the sampled color. Now, set the model to RGB cube. The model is for the color model that's used for sampling. RGB cube is for the standard red, green, blue color model. CIE lab cube, or lab for short, is for the unique colors of human vision. L is for lightness. A and B are for red, green, blue, and yellow. Intensity looks at the whole intensity of the pixel value. And the alpha mode can make selections of matted alpha areas, which comes in handy when compositing images. Hit Apply. Press Ctrl, Shift, and I to invert the selection. Then click the Mask Layer icon in the Layers panel. Now the space between the diamonds is no longer black, it's transparent. This will make the diamond effect look more natural. Press Ctrl and D to deselect. We'll now make a pattern from this diamond layer. In the Layers panel, select the diamond layer. Right-click on it and select Rasterize and Trim. This will place all of our changes onto one layer. Now go to the Layer menu. Click New Pattern Layer from Selection. This will create the diamond pattern we need. Copy the new pattern layer and paste it onto the document with the text. In the Layers panel, drag the pattern layer inside of the text layer. Go to the Transform panel and turn on the Lock Aspect Ratio. Take the Move tool and resize the diamond pattern so that the diamonds are smaller and visible within the text. After that, select the text layer in the Layers panel. Next, click the FX Layers Effect icon. Check the Outline box and select it. By default, the Blend Mode should be Normal, the Opacity should be 100%, and the Alignment should be Outside. Set the Fill Style to Contour. This will apply a gradient fill from the inner part of the stroke width to the outer edge of the stroke width once we set the radius. Set the radius to 8 pixels. Now click the gradient area to change the colors. Select the black color stop. Go to color and click the RGB hex sliders. Once you've done that, enter the following hex code. E1B80C. Click insert to add another color stop. Select the color stop, then go to color. Enter the following hex code, 9B7943. Next, click the color stop on the right. Go to color and change it to the following hex code, A7A7A7. Now click on the 3D box and select it. Unlink the radius and the depth. Set the radius to 5 pixels and the depth to 20 pixels. And set the soften to 6 pixels. Leave the other settings as is. 
Once you've done that, go to Inner Glow, check the box and select it. By default, the blend mode should be set to screen, the opacity should be 100%, color is white, and the edge is selected. Set the radius to 1 pixel and the intensity to 60%. Check the bevel and bias box and select it. By default, the type should be pillow. Unlink the radius and the depth. Set the radius to 8 pixels and the depth to 12 pixels. Then, set the soften to 3 pixels. Leave the other settings as is. For the bevel and bias, you could also set the type to end bias if you wanted to. We'll now add some shininess or sparkle to the text. In the Layers panel, click the Add Pixel Layer icon to add a new layer. Next, grab the Paintbrush tool from the Tools panel. Go to the Brushes panel. Then, go to the Basic Brushes and select a round, soft brush. Now, go to the Swatches panel and set the Fill Color to White. Make sure the newly added Pixel Layer is selected in the Layers panel. Resize the size of the brush so that it's the size of the diamonds. Press the left bracket key to decrease the size of the brush, and press the right bracket key to increase the size. In the context toolbar, set the opacity and flow to 100%, and set the hardness to 25%. Take the brush and click on the diamonds in different areas of the text to add some sparkle to the text. Once you're done, name the layer Sparkle in the Layers panel. I decided to change the background color at the last minute. Select the black filled pixel layer in the layers panel. Then go to the swatches panel. After that, double click the fill color to bring up the color chooser. Enter the following hex code, 727272. With the pixel layer still selected, go to the edit menu. Click fill with primary color to fill the background layer with gray. Also, let's add another type of sparkle to the text. Go to the Star Lights Brushes download link in the video description. Click Download. Once the brush is downloaded, go to the file. Right click on the folder and select Extract All. Then go to the Extracted folder and double click on the brushes file. Go back to Affinity Photo. The brushes will have been placed in the brushes panel once they download. Now grab the paintbrush tool again from the tools panel. Select the sparkle pixel layer in the layers panel. Then go to the brushes panel and select the star lights brushes. Select the 2408 pixel number 11 brush. Go to the swatches panel and set the fill color to white. Decrease the brush size by pressing the left bracket key. Then take the brush and click on a few of the diamonds on the text to add more sparkle. Try to add sparkle on the edges of the words as you see it on the screen. And this is how to create a diamond text effect in Affinity Photo. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell icon to turn on post notifications so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching.